Good Wednesday evening, taking a live look outside of Ryan. You can see the AM campus there in the background. It is mild out there and it's a little bit breezy. Temperature sitting at 81 degrees and temperatures generally in the 80s across the entire area. There are a couple upper 70s popping up. 77 degrees in Waco. It is 81 in Brenham, 80 in Navas. So to those southeasterly winds just continuing to pump in that warm air. It's really warm down in San Antonio, 85 degrees, 73 in Midland, a touch cooler up in Amarillo sitting at 60. 69 degrees dry line starting to trigger a few showers and storms out across northwestern Texas. These quickly becoming severe. They're in an environment favorable for tornadoes and extremely large hell. We're going to continue to track these as they work their way towards the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Taking a look at that future radar, we're going to primarily remain dry here throughout the uh, evening and into the overnight hours. Notice that we see that thunderstorm activity work its way into northern parts of Texas. Again, some of that going to be severe. We could see a few showers out there try to work their way into the western zone tomorrow morning. The thunderstorm activity that we're really tracking is mainly to the north and the west tonight. That's where there's a level three risk of severe thunderstorms, large hail, damaging winds, as well as tornadoes possible across northwestern Texas, extending up into south central Oklahoma. Notice a lot of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex within a level two, but as you try to head toward the southeast in the Brazos Valley, we don't really have good storm chances here tonight. Now there is a level one risk for the far western zone, but I think those storms are unfortunately going to die out. Unfortunately, in terms of getting the rainfall because we need it. We don't want any severe weather, but we are tracking some severe thunderstorm chances for the Brazos Valley as we head into Thursday. So storm system that's been chilling out west. It's going to eject and weaken in the plains as we head into Thursday. So that's going to send a cold front south into the Brazos Valley. Now temperatures out ahead of that cold front going to be extremely warm into the low to mid 80s. So when you add in that warm air as well as dew points in the 60s, low 70s. That is the instability needed to feed those thunderstorms. So when we look at some of the upper level winds, the, hell, the strongest winds are going to be to the north of the Brazos Valley across parts of southern Kansas into northern Oklahoma. And then when you look at that low level jet as well, it's going to be centered toward the north and the east of the Brazos Valley. So we don't have the perfect shear environment for uh, expansive severe thunderstorms or any tornadoes. So that is the good news for the Brazos Valley, but we could see some showers and storms on the strong side. Can't rule out one or two severe storms. Those main hazards being large hell and damaging winds because again, the best conditions going to be east of the Brazos Valley. Level one risk for the northern and uh, western parts of the Brazos Valley heading into Thursday, and then we're going to see some pretty good rain across that northern zone. We're going to see between half an inch and an inch. Notice, though, as you get a little bit farther south, that's when we start to see those precipitations. Uh, those precipitation totals diminish just a little bit. And this has been kind of the weather on repeat. That northern zone has been getting hammered with rain over the past several weeks, while the central and southern parts really have not picked up too much rain, and we need to get a little more rain. And there is some rain in that forecast heading into Friday as well as Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures going going to decrease quite a bit. However, if you like the warmer temperatures, next week looks like it's going to be the warmest it has been all year. We're going to flirt with 90 degrees by Thursday. Oof, from 48 to 90, my goodness. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> the only sad thing is that my pool is closed at the apartment complex complex, understandably so, but I want to get in the pool because 90 degrees, whew, that's going to be warm out there. Just fill up the tub. That's what I'm going to have to do, <laughs> rub-a-dub-dub, scrub it in my tub. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Thank you, Christopher. Justin, I know you guys talked to a psychologist today. You have more on that coming up next, right? Yeah, so the big question is, can't play any sports right now. The Aggies can't, so they're so used to a routine. How are they dealing with not being able to play, just having to sit at home, kind of do their own thing? Anxiety maybe popping up. Not so much that, but just psychologists on campus just making sure the athletes